everybody. Welcome to my office. <laughs> uh, I've been have I have had this topic in my notebook to share about for a while now, and I just haven't gotten around to it. But several people have asked me, and some of them genuinely curious. Other people with a tone of criticism. Why the heck would I choose to be a health coach online rather than a registered nurse and use my nursing degree that I paid $100,000 for and went to school and nearly killed myself to get? <laughs> um, and so, and I've had other people approach me and say, hey, I really want to go into nursing school. What was your experience? Or I really want to be a health coach and go through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I'd love your feedback because I've done both of those things and I would never, ever take them back. Um, and, and so I wanted to share a little bit about how my passion sort of evolved and why I went into the field of medicine. And um, some of you are brand new here and have no idea about my background and others of you are very familiar with it. But I went into nursing. I knew when I was 11 years old that I wanted to be in the field, in a career field of helping people. Um, it really started when my dad was killed by a drunk driver. Him and I were both hit on my 11th birthday. And I had every experience under the sun of medical care from horrific to amazing. And I knew that I wanted to be there for people in their darkest moments and I wanted to be the person to help bring them hope and help them feel better and make them feel special like my nurses and my doctors did for me. And I wanted to be the person to prevent the negligence that ha that happened um, in the situation with my dad. He was actually killed from a malpractice incident. And so I knew as a young girl, I want to be somehow in the healthcare system because that's all that I knew and so I made the decision I thought first maybe I'd be a pediatrician my pediatrician talked me out of that <laughs> so okay nursing school was the next thing and I went straight for it I went straight ahead and um, I learned a lot but in the process I had a lot of my own health issues and the stress of playing on a college softball team in conjunction with nursing school was too much for my body and um, I suffered a lot of digestive issues and anxiety horrific anxiety and I had a, um, a lot of different hormone imbalances and none of the doctors could fix me none of the specialists could fix me paid thousands of dollars and got poked and prodded and I thought I had a brain tumor and then no you don't have a brain tumor but we just don't know what's wrong with you so let's put you on this medication and that was just kind of my journey for a while and that's why I started studying researching more natural modalities of healing because I just knew in my gut that this wasn't the way I knew that this medication they were giving me was never going to heal me I always I've always been the person to ask why and my husband like that's one of the things he'd probably change about me if he could <laughs> I shouldn't say that but I'm sure I annoy him with like why are you pouring the concrete that way I don't know anything about it I just like I'm so inquisitive and um, so I started digging deeper and I started learning so much about nutrition and about our, our endocrine system and our digestive system and, and uh, Chinese medicine and homeopathy and, herb and um, herbology all these different things and um, I was engrossed like I was became so passionate about learning and fast forward I, I was able to heal myself through natural modalities and I am like living my best life now and so I knew that this was something people needed because I couldn't find the answers and Western medicine wasn't giving me the help that I needed and so I was conflicted at that moment. I had completed nursing school. I ended up moving to Spain. That I'll just work in Spain over there. Um, that didn't work out. And so I went to the, through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, became a certified holistic health coach, and tried to you know health coach people online. And it was just really hard. It was tough. And fast forward to where I'm at now, and or well, let's say three years ago. At that point, um, I was working in corrections and I actually loved my job. And I know that that's weird, but I did for like the first two years, I really liked it. I, I like thought my perfect job would be 
a cop nurse. <laughs> I loved the investigations, my husband's investigations, and I was um, a nurse on our level two yard and then became a public health nurse, and I really liked it, and then I didn't. And then I had kids, and you know, I got asked the question, where do you wanna be in five years? Like, if you could have anything in your life where where do you where would you build your dream life? What would that look like? And I had never asked myself that question, which is so weird. And I remember sitting at my kitchen table and asking my husband, like, where do we want to be in five years? You know, I just had a brand new baby. You know, I have a steady job. I make a significant amount of money as a correctional nurse. Um, it's not that hard necessarily, but I know this is not what I'm meant to do. I have a huge passion for helping people and educating people and inspiring and encouraging people and showing them how to be healthier. And like many of the people I worked with became my clients, my health coaching clients, because it's just like, it's just, I can't stop it. It's just what I was made to do. And so I knew at that moment, I want more. I want more out of life. I want more in my purpose than this job that I'm working. And I've spoken to many of my other nurse friends I went to school with, and a lot of them are in a very similar predicament. Um, they had kids and it changed everything. I never saw myself as a work from home mom. Never ever thought that I'd want to do that because I'm a very driven, independent person and I didn't ever think I'd want to stay home. Um, but then I had a baby and I'm like, I don't want to leave you <laughs> like you know so that changed everything I know a lot of mom friends who struggle with that no matter what your profession is you don't leave your kid and then there's what has kind of evolved what Western medicine is nowadays if you have a passion to truly help people at a foundational level in their health you see the huge disconnect in Western medicine today um, medication does absolutely save people's lives. Surgery saves people's lives. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the technology that we have. But when it comes to like true nutrient density, nutrition, education about healing the gut and you know gut health and, and hormone balance and how everything's connected and helping people understand just the lifestyle things that we can do to really heal our bodies and reverse disease it's not going to be found there for the majority of cases and doctors and situations. And so I knew that I was called for something more. I just didn't know what it was and I didn't know how to do it. I tried health coaching on my own and it was impossible to make a living and it was, it was draining. Like I would have to spend hours and hours with multiple people and it just was, didn't work and it wouldn't work with kids. Um, and so that's when I found what I what I do now and that's when I found this company who's already kind of set up the dream business model I guess for me where they have the fitness portion already done by personal trainers and professional fitness doctors and and people who study this area uh, the nutrition programs I was very skeptical about because I'm very knowledgeable in this area and I love them I absolutely love them. I love the education and the resources. I don't have to create those for my clients anymore. And because people are learning how to eat healthy for their, you know, their lifestyle and what their goals are, whether that's losing weight or gaining weight or just learning how to to teach their kids how to eat healthy or whatever that may be, that's what these programs teach my clients and myself and the resources with the meal plans and the shopping list and you know the science that comes behind it it's you know put together by uh, people who have their masters in in um, nutrition and are registered dietitians and you know it's, it's very powerful real life stuff that's that creates these nutrition programs and then we have the supplementation side and that I had a very personal experience with because for a year and a half I took a, about a hundred pills a day a hundred different supplements because I was so desperate to feel better and they helped a little but not not it didn't get me to where I needed to be and so I had now this you know superfood drink that I was like there's no way I am going to find the hidden crap in this because I am 
guaranteed that it's going to be there because that's just the normal, right? You could have something that's amazing and then all of a sudden there's sucralose at the end and I'm like, ah, it's so frustrating. I have a very high standard for that kind of stuff. And so I was blown away when I read the ingredient label and I was like, I buy all of this separately and it costs me close to $300 a month. This is only a hundred bucks a month and it tastes like chocolate. Okay, I'll try it, but I'm probably gonna return it because they have a 30 day you know, money back guarantee. And I was just blown away and that was three years ago. And since then, I have truly helped drastically more of my clients in their health. And I'm talking about lab values, like dropping their hemoglobin A1C to where they're no longer considered diabetic dropping their cholesterol and their blood pressure and their triglycerides so they're no longer on medication. That kind of stuff. As a nurse, those would be parameters to, that um, you would use to measure a patient's success in their treatment plan, right? And it's happening. You know, I have, I have team members who've lost 70 pounds and 50 pounds and 25 pounds and 30 pounds and gotten off thyroid medication. I am not, legal disclaimer, I'm not claiming that I can, that I'm a healer or that what I use and what I recommend is going to treat, cure, diagnose, heal any medical condition, condition. but that's, I'm just telling you the truth. And so when people ask me like, why did you, why are you choosing this? Why are you choosing coaching over when you have a degree? Because people don't care anymore if you're a doctor or a nurse or a practitioner or a coach. If you help them live their best life and feel better, that's all people care about. And that's all that I care about. I don't care about having my license. You know, I'm obviously I worked for my RN license. I'm always going to keep it up. And um, I just, I, I am going where people need me. And I see an opportunity not only to help more people, I get to run monthly workshops and challenge groups where I can invite a ton of people in and coach all of them at the same time so I can help more people from anywhere in the world. Um, and my time I, is, um, is my own. If I can make as much money, if not more, doing what I'm doing, versus being exhausted and overworked in a hospital, why would I choose to do that? And that's my reality right now. I've met my RN income in the state of California, which is insane because nurses get paid way more here than most any other states in, in our country. And you know, every single week when we get paid, my husband's like, that's insane. You're making way more than I did in prevailing wage and construction. And I work from home. So the potential is just incredible and it's just the beginning. This is just year three I've just started of my business. And um, the beautiful part about this is that you're only successful if you help other people be successful. And so one of the things that I love is that I get to teach people who come to me and are like, hey, I see what you're doing. I doubt I could do it and I have all these fears. I'm, I'm not a salesperson. I don't wanna you know, bug my friends and family. Everybody says it. I'm not good at this, blah, blah, blah. I'm not at my goal weight. doesn't matter. I get to mentor you and teach you if you have the passion and desire and the work ethic and you're teachable to do exactly what I did and have that success for yourself and have the flexibility of time. And we have a vacation. We have a, <coughs> a trip planned. I was looking at the calendar like every other month this year that we're gonna get to go and take our kids on the majority of them because of my schedule. When I was working, when I you know was working full time as a registered nurse, I couldn't do that. There's no way. There, were, I got like two weeks max off, and there was no way I could take these trips. And so, just the quality of life that our family has, and the impact we're making, and the financial part that we're making, is I I genuinely did not know it existed. And so I, I will continue to share what I do because anyone could do this who has the, again, willpower and desire. It's not easy, but you know, life isn't easy. It's not easy working long 12 hour shifts in a hospital either where you're overworked and you get held for 16s and 
you know, no one really appreciates what you do and your patients throw medication in your face and that's not easy either. I'm so thankful for those of you who do it because we need you, um, but life isn't easy and I, I just want to make sure that everybody knows about this opportunity that exists because I never did. So why I chose coaching over nursing, now you can see why it's kind of a no-brainer. I obviously couldn't quit my job right away. Like These things take a while to build and I built my business part-time on the side for two years while I worked full-time in prison and had a baby at home and yeah, it was hard but so worth it and so fun and just such a, it literally brought like life back to my soul. So if you didn't know, now you know. If you didn't want to know, well, you know anyways. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, Friday, I will be teaching a live webinar at 6 p.m. Pacific time <clears throat> about what I do. And I'm just gonna be kinda going into the ins and outs of what my day looks like, how we make money, how we help people, um, job requirements, like what our job duties are, how you do this part-time, how you can turn it into full-time if you wanted to, how much time's required, what it means to work with me because there are several different mentors and coaches and trainers out there, um, but our team is unique and my mission and purpose that I want to cultivate is different and unique and we really have a heart to help as many people as possible. That's what our, is at the forefront, of our driving force. And so if that's something that resonates with you and you're like, I have a passion for that too, this could be something that really changes your life. I'm gonna be honest with you, when I started, I wanted to lose baby weight. That was it. I didn't wanna coach because I didn't have time and I was just so excited about doing it that I invited four of my family members to do it with me and I, I just signed them up. I learned how to do that and that was it. And then it just kind of grew, grew from there. So if you would like information, I'll put the webinar link in uh, the comments below. I did a post earlier about it as well, but it would be awesome to have you on and you can ask any questions that you'd like. This is an awesome retirement plan as well, which I will explain if anyone wants to know more. Uh, but I think that's it. I need to drink a water. You guys have an amazing night. Thank you, all of you, for tuning on. It's so fun seeing all of your names. So um, I will end this and go post that webinar link now. If anyone's interested, or you can shoot me your email, and I'll send it over to you. Bye, guys.